Hi, in this video, I'll walk you through the configuration and licensing process for Estera Centerprise. After successfully installing the Centerprise client and server applications, open the client application. You'll see the server connection screen. Enter the server URI. Server URI will be the IP address of the machine where Estera integration server is installed. You can get help from your network administrator to get the IP address of the machine where Estera integration server is installed. Or you can launch the command prompt and type the command ipconfig to get the IP configuration details for the machine and use that information to provide server URI. The default port for the secure connection between the lean client and Estera integration server is 9260. If you have connected to any server recently, you can automatically connect to that server by selecting that server from the recently used drop-down list. Click Connect after you have filled out the information required. The client will now connect to the selected server. You should be able to see the server listed in the Server Explorer tree when the client application opens. The yellow icon with exclamation mark means that the server is not configured. Before you can start working with Centerprise Lean Client, you will have to create a repository and configure the server. To start using the Centerprise server, a repository must be set up. Centerprise supports SQL Server and Postgres for building cluster databases, which can then be used for maintaining the repository. The repository is where job logs, job queues, and schedules are kept. To see these options, go to Server, Configure, Build Repository, Database, and Configure Server. The first step is to point the SQL Server or Postgres instance where you want to build the repository and provide the credentials to establish the connection. From the drop-down list next to the Database option, select the database on the SQL instance where you want to host the repository. Click on Test Connection to test whether the connection is successfully established or not. You should be able to see the following message if the connection is successfully established. Click OK and a message will appear. Select Yes to proceed. Following this, another message will appear, which will indicate that the repository is successfully built. Once you have created the repository, and configured the server, the next step is to log in using your Estera Centerprise account credentials. You will not be able to design any data flows or workflows on the Lean client if you haven't logged into your Estera Centerprise account. The options will be disabled. To log into your user account, go to Server, Configure, Login as Admin. This will take you to a login screen where you can provide your user credentials. If you are using Estera Centerprise 8 for the first time, you can log in using the default credentials as follows. Username, Admin, Password, Capital A, D, M, I, N, 1, 2, 3. After you log in, you will see that the options in the Centerprise Lean Client are enabled. You will not see options to create a new data flow, workflow, or any project. For those options to appear, you'll have to enter your license. If you don't want Centerprise to show you the server connection screen every time you run the client application, you can skip that by modifying the settings. To do that, go to Tools, Options, Client Startup, and select the Auto Connect to Server option. On enabling the option, Centerprise will store the server details you entered previously and will use those details to automatically reconnect to the server every time you run the application. We have introduced a new single license key model for Centerprise 8. Unlike the previous versions of Estera Centerprise, you will now only need a single licensing key to register and unlock both Centerprise client and server applications. The license key provided to you contains information about how many clients can connect to a single server as well as functionality available to the connected clients. Please note that you cannot use your existing set of keys from version 6 or 7. If you're planning to migrate from version 7 or earlier to version 8, 
please contact sales at the rate estera.com as you will need a new license key. After you have configured the server and logged in with the admin credentials, the last step is to insert your license key and unlock Center Price A. To do that, go to Tools, Manage License. You can also access the license management window from the Server Explorer. Open the Server Explorer and click on Configure button. It will give you an option to enter license key. On the license management window, click on Unlock using a key. Enter the details to unlock center price, name, organization, and product key, and select Unlock. You'll be shown the message that your license has been successfully activated. Please note that the connected client applications will now shut down for the server license to take effect. Click on OK. Once you open Centerprise again, go to the File menu. You'll see all the options Data Flow, Workflow, Subflow, etc. enabled. You've successfully configured Centerprise A. Thank you for watching this video.